So to make this bikini, you will need um, two balls of uh, Cascade Fixation yarn. I'm using the yellow here, but you know, it's depends of the color you prefer. It can also be made with a hundred percent cotton yarn. I use that sometimes, but then there might be a variation in like stitches and that because you know some yarns are a bit more thin than others so for them this for the fixation yarn and I'm using 2.1 uh, millimeters hook I normally use this size of hook in my projects so you're gonna start this bottom with um, 21 chains for the small, 23 for the medium, 25 for the large. 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then um, one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, and one double crochet across in each chain so after you finish this row you're gonna make two chains and turn you can make either like two or three chains I just think two doesn't sag on the side like this I think two chains are better for bikini work anyway so um, two chains and then one double crochet Sorry about that. One double crochet in the first double crochet. And one double crochet, each double crochet across. At the end, you're gonna make two double crochets in the last double crochet. Because we're gonna increase two double crochets in each row. So now all the rows are going to be the same and increasing one, uh, one on the beginning and one at the end exactly like I did now. So these two I'm increasing because I have the two chains that count as one at the beginning. And then you're going to repeat this same row for eight rows. So we're gonna have eight total and then we're gonna start to decrease. I'm gonna finish this one for you guys to see. So on the last double crochet I'm gonna make two and then two chains and turn when you have seven rows two four six seven seven rows increasing two stitches every every row you're gonna start decreasing then okay so to decrease I'm gonna make two chains and then skip skip this skip the second one and then on the third one I'm gonna make uh, my first double crochet mm, yeah that's it so I'm gonna decrease two stitches two double crochets in every row until I have 10 
double crochets left and then when you have 10 double crochets left you're gonna work with 10 I mean 10 uh, 9 double crochets plus two ch plus the two chains on the beginning that's 10 double crochets you always count the two chains as a double crochet so when you reach 10 decreasing you start to make 10 until you have 28 rows so 28 rows you're gonna make the 10 double crochets until you reach 28 rows and then you start increasing again for the back of your bottom just gonna show you here here so in the last see, two I'm gonna make only one and then two double crochets and turn skip one on the double crochet in the next one so do that until you have 10 double crochets left made a little change here I made 30 rows so you're gonna have 30 rows for a small size 32 rows two more for a medium size 34 for um, a large size I normally increase them here because for larger numbers you need more crotch height I think that's yeah. anyway um, and then from here 30 rows I'm gonna start increasing two double crochets in each row like I did here before so two each end until I have 45 rows so two every row until I have 45 rows really easy so I made two chains and one on the first one like double crochet across on the last in my last double crochet I'm gonna make two double crochets so I'm gonna have 12 stitches mm. I know I normally yeah I increase the one before the last because it's just easier but it doesn't matter so two increase two each row until you count 45 rows so I increase two, two um, double crochets on each side every row until I have 45 rows and now I'm gonna start decreasing two stitches every row for seven rows okay so I'm gonna decrease two each side for seven rows to have get the same shape and then we're gonna be do the side bits so after making all my rows it's 52 at the end for a small bikini 54 for a medium 56 for large i'm gonna start working to the side so making one, two chains and one double crochet, one chain and skip one. I count three double crochet, three stitches to every row I have. So I jump, I skip one and I make it on the next one here. One two and one chain jump one here 
one, two, skip one, one, two, skip one, one, two, skip one, one, two, one chain here in this little corner here. I'm gonna make two more in the same in the same place. Two more double crochets, and then skip one. Here, one here, <coughs> one chain. Skip one, two, skip one, one, two, skip one, and do this all around the piece until you, yeah, until you come back to the same spot here, and then we we'll we work to the side. So to finish this row here around the piece I'm gonna make one chain, one double crochet in the first double crochet and then after that 60 chains Sixty chains. <clears throat> I'm gonna fold my chain. and I'm going to connect. Try to not. Here I'm going to make one single crochet in here, this third chain here, make one single crochet to join both sides, and then another single crochet one more and then I'm gonna work here so one double crochet in the first chain from the hook and then one chain one double crochets so it's gonna be one stitch in every chain from before so two double crochets one chain skip one all the way to here finish the row with one two three four One, second one here, third one here, 
then gonna have one, two, three, four, five, same as before, and then one single crochet in the first arch, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, single crochet, second arch and then 10 again and repeat that all the way to the end of this row finish this second row with one single five chains and a single crochet here and one single crochet two three single crochets and then you have five more chains one two three four five turn your bikini and one chain in the first arch ten more chain in the second arch no single crochet in the second arch and repeat all the way around repeat across and finish this row two more double crochets and then one two three one single crochet in first arch one two three four five six chains and one single crochet one two three four five six chains another single crochet next arch one two three four five six another single crochet in the next arch and repeat across so on the last one six chains one single crochet here in the same one from before and then one two three okay now we're gonna make the same row from before it's gonna be two double crochets and one chain in the middle so turn your project over I'm gonna make one two double crochets one chain don't worry much about what's going on under because it's just about how much stitches you put here so five stitches here and then I jump to the second one it's gonna be one two double crochets five stitches like before so one chain one two double crochets one chain two one chain two double crochets repeat that across and finish with a single crochet at the end of this row so after this side's ready what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut a piece of um, uh, skin elastic yeah, the skin elastic should be from here to here. I always want it a bit smaller, like double, but from here to here. And then uh, you you um, seal both ends together, so it's a loop, it's a ring. And then um, you place it behind behind your work here, and you work the last 
the last row is gonna be single crochets covering this skinny elastic and then repeat the other side exactly the same of this one starting from here 